What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video I'll be showing you how to draw Twisted Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Now the first thing we're going to do is start by drawing the nose in the center of our page. So let's start on the left side of the center and draw a half circle. Curving up and then down on the right side. Now from the ends I want to curve in and then down towards the center point. So we'll start on the left side, curving in and then down. Go to the right and do the same thing. Let's fill the inside of the nose in black. And then from here we're going to surround the nose with the muzzle. Starting in the center, start with a straight line coming down. We want to add some wrinkles along the bottom edge of the muzzle. So we'll start by curving down and then up towards the left. Go back to the center, curve down and up towards the right. Now we're going to add a fold. Step down, curve around. I'm just going to pull this up over the nose. And I just want to bring this back down and around on the right side. So we're going to tuck this in. Curving around, down, and then in. Now that we have the muzzle in place, we can move to the side and add the eyes. So on the left side, we're going to draw a circle, curving around towards the top of the eye, come down, and then pull that in. Let's go over towards the right side, go up towards the same height, around the side, and then we'll tuck that in behind the muzzle. Now we're going to draw two small circles in the inside, starting on the left. Start at the very top, come around to the bottom, and then back up. Now let's move over towards the right, line this up. You see that I've shifted these pupils towards the inside of the eye. Let's add a small black dot in the center of the iris. Let's fill the outside area of the eyes in black. Now we're going to move down and draw the edge of the upper jaw. Starting from the side of the muzzle, curve out and then up. Let's line this up on the right and we'll do the same thing. Now it's going to add a notch. It's going to curve down and in to create a little gap. Then we'll continue out and up towards the side. Now before we draw the upper cheek, we're going to surround the outside of the eyes with some circles. Starting on the left side around and then back in. We stack a couple more in behind. Start at the top and just tuck that in and then one along the side going out and then in. Let's go over towards the right starting up against the edge of the eye and we can vary the size of these circles. So I'm going to go a little bit larger go to the top, tuck one in along the top and then one more on the side. Now let's pull the cheeks in behind those circles. Starting on the left we're going to go up and then in. I'm also going to add a few larger circles on the left side. So we're going to start at the very top. We're just going to tuck this in. Going up, around, and then in. Let's add one along the side. Going out, then in. We'll add one more along the top. We're just going to tuck this in. And then we're going to draw the top of the head in behind those circles. So let's start on the left side. Draw a half circle. Coming up towards the top of the head. We'll round this out. I'm just going to pull that down on the right side. Now we're going to stay up at the top and draw on the hat. On either side, we're going to draw a short line on left and right. Now we're going to connect those two points with that same curve of the head. Going up the middle and then down on the right. Now from the top corners, we're going to step in and draw two straight lines going up towards the top of the hat. And we're going to close off the top with a curve. Going up and then down. Let's move down and draw on the ears. From the side of the hat, we're going to step down and draw almost like a circle. Going around, round up the ear, and then just pull that in towards the side. Let's line this up on the right, and up, rounding up the ear, and then pulling that in. Let's add some more circles in behind the ear. Starting from the top, go up and then down. Draw another one in behind. That's going to draw some along the inside going up and then down, almost like a half circle, 
tuck one in behind there. Add some more along the bottom. Let's go over towards the right side. I'm going to start with the top, the half circle, and tuck one in behind it. Then we'll come down towards the bottom, and down and in, and then along the side. Let's trace the ears along the inside. Starting from the top, just going to follow the ear all the way around, and then back in. We're also gonna add a few scars across the face. Starting from the top of the right eye, curve up and in, taper that back down towards the bottom. Let's go to the left eye, draw a shorter one. Going up and then down. Go up to the top of the hat on the right side, curve out and down, and we'll taper that back up. I'm gonna go back and add a few more circles along the left side of the head. Starting up against the side, draw a circle, Tuck one in behind, and then in between, coming down and out. We'll draw the top of the circle in behind. Add one more on the top. Let's add a row of fangs across the mouth. Starting from the center, angle down and out towards the left, and then right, and then angle back up and out underneath the mouth. Now we're going to continue this all the way out towards the side of the head. Start with the left side. As we get up to the side, we're going to go a little bit shorter. And one more on the side. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. And then we'll move down and draw the top edge of the lower jaw. On the left side, we'll draw a curve. Coming down, and then up. And then from here we're going to curve back out and then up towards the corners of the jaw. Let's round out the side of the jaw. Starting on the left, we're going to curve out and then down. Then we're going to connect these two lines with a curve. Coming down the middle and then back up on the right side. And now we're going to add the lower row of teeth. Start from the center, we're going to go up and now towards the left and right, and then angle down towards the side. Now we're going to do the same thing, we're going to repeat this all the way out towards the side of the mouth. Let's start with the left. And then we'll move over to the right. Now we're going to connect the top of the head to the jaw. So we start on the left side underneath the teeth, curve down and out. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. Now we're going to fill the inside area of the mouth in black. I'm also going to add some cracks along the bottom edge of the jaw. Starting on the left side, we're going to draw a curve coming down, then up, draw a shorter curve, and then a slightly larger one coming down, and then up towards the top of the mouth. Let's go over to the right side. Draw a short curve, a little bit bigger, and then go back up. Let's tuck a bow tie underneath the chin. We're going to start with a half circle right in the center. And then from either side, we'll draw a straight line angling down and out. Then from the ends, we'll curve out and up underneath the head. Let's step out and draw the sides of the body. From the bow tie, we'll step out, curve out, and back in towards the hip. And the same thing on the right side. 
Now we're gonna melt the bottom edge of the body, starting on the left one, curve down and in with a short line. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's add those drips. Starting back on the left one, draw a small half circle. Draw a smaller curve in the middle. Now I'll connect this point to the outside with a half circle. We're gonna go back up to the top on the side of the bow tie and draw the trim, going around and in towards the bottom line. Do the same thing on the right side. And then we'll open up the center of the body, starting underneath the bow tie on the left, curve out and in. Do another smaller curve. Do that one more time. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. Curve out and in. Do that two more times. Now back on the left side, I'm going to curve up underneath the bow tie. On the right side, we're going to do the same thing. Curving in and up. Let's fill those outside areas in black. Now let's open up the center of the body. On the left side, we're gonna curve up underneath the bow tie and then back down. On the left side, I'm gonna come down and then in. Do the same thing on the right side. Close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's fill that inside area in black. Now I'm gonna move back out and draw on the hips. Start on the left and draw almost like a bracket. Curving out and then in. And we'll pull this down and in towards the center. And go up on the right side. Now the legs look like two barrels stacked on top of each other. So we start with the inside edge, leaving a gap in the center, go to the left, come down and out, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now we're going to move out towards the outside of the hip, curving the opposite direction. Out and then in, same thing on the right. Now I want to connect the outside to the inside leg with a slight curve, coming down and then back up. Let's add one more underneath. Starting back on the inside, curve in and out. Go to the outside, again curving in the opposite direction. And then we'll connect the outside to the inside with another curve. Now from the inside corner of the leg, we're going to curve in and then down towards the heel on both sides. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve down and up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to be drawing three long claws on either side. Starting on the left, we're going to start with the socket, curving up, bend this down towards the tip of the claw, and from the tip, I'm going to curve up and then in towards that inside point. Let's draw two more in behind. Starting from the top of this claw, curve up and then down, and we'll just pull that back in behind. And we'll add one more. Do the same thing on the right. Start with the socket going up and then down. And we'll pull that in towards the bottom of the foot. And do that two more times. And then from the outside of the ankle, we'll curve out and down on top of the last claw. Now we're gonna go back in and add some detail to the legs. Starting with the circles, we'll start on the left side of the hip. Curve out and then in, tuck one in behind the top and then the bottom. Let's add some around the knee. And a circle around the knee, draw one in behind. We'll draw some inside the leg as well. And a circle up here. And we're basically stacking these circles in behind one another. Let's add a few on the right side, starting on the hip. Add some along the inside. And we'll also add some holes along the right leg. Starting at the top, we're going to draw an oval and an angle. And we'll fill that in black. Let's draw one along the lower leg, a little bit smaller, and fill that in black. Now let's move up and draw on the arms. Similar to the legs, they look like two barrels stacked one on top of the other. So we start on the side of the body, step down down and out. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. 
Now I'm gonna draw that trim, going up and then out towards the outside of the arms. Now I'm gonna fill the left arm with a series of overlapping circles. Let's start on the end, start with a circle. Now I'm gonna tuck them in behind. Going all the way up in behind the head and along the side. Now we're just gonna pull these circles in towards the inside of the arm. Add one more on the other side. Let's go over to the right side. Now we're not going to do as many as we did on the left. Start with the bottom. Stack a few going up to the top of the arm and one on the outside. Let's draw on the lower arm. Start from the inside point, come down and out. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to go to the outside of the arm, curve in the opposite direction. Curving out and then down. Then we're going to close off the wrist with a curve. From the outside, curving in and then down. Let's add a few more circles on the left forearm. Starting at the top, add some along the outside, a few more along the inside of the arm. Now from here we're going to draw on the hands and layer the claws in behind. So let's start from the bottom corner of the wrist, curve in and then out. We'll round up the thumb and then go straight up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming in and out. Round up the thumb and then go up. Now we're going to wrap three fingers along the side. Starting from the top of the thumb, curve out and then in. We'll round up the finger, go out and back in. We'll do the same thing on the right. Just going around the thumb, rounding up the finger, going back out and up. And then we'll tuck two more fingers along the side. Starting on the outside, curve out and then up. Now the third finger is gonna go out, up, and then in towards the outside of the wrist. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's add those long pointed claws. Start from the bottom of the thumb, come down and then out. Just taper that back up underneath the thumb. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start from the bottom curve and go all the way back up. I'm going to add a claw to each of the fingers. Starting with the index finger, come down and in, taper that back up. And then we'll add one more to each finger. And then move over towards the right and do the same thing. One more on the outside. And there we have it. There's Twisted Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out my Five Nights playlist. I'll leave the link down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.